What's up, YouTube? It's Brick Genius 3 and I have a LEGO Minecraft review for you. This is one of the new sets. It's the Iron Golem. 208 pieces. The set number is 21123. And ages 8 and up, it's recommended for. So, that's the box. Regular size for a $20 set box. So, this is the set. This set has some cool play features with it. I'm really happy that you get um, a crafting table and a furnace with a $20 set. Because if you look at all the other $20 sets, like the cave and the dungeon, you don't get that with it. Like with the cave, you get bread and a chest and a bucket. And the um, dungeon, you don't, I don't think you really get anything like that with it. I don't have the dungeon, I'll get it soon. I'm not a big fan of the dungeon, but back to the set. It has a play feature that these are removable blocks. There's an iron ore here. And you could like play with them, like pretend you're mining and building. You could like put them different ways. Like that. But um the main play feature of this is is this you um go like this and an iron golem pops out it's made with technic pieces like um i don't know what they're called but pins and those those modified plates with the holes and and bricks you can see right there the bricks with the holes and it's on a brick with a tile and it just, oops, the pig. The pig was falling off. But it's all empty in there. And, um, they do that because these are represented as iron blocks. And when you play Minecraft to make an iron golem, you put, you put iron blocks in a T form with a um, pumpkin head on top. So, I really like this build right here. I think it's cool. This is probably my favorite, um, part of the set. Because it's like, um, it's like a building area and crafting. But my opinion on this set is that it's really small and it should have been like $15. But surprisingly it has 200 pieces. But, um, Lego wouldn't make it $15 if it has 200 pieces. But, there's a flower here, and they did this weird thing with the water. They put a blue plate, and, and then, the, um, the clear, um, dark blue with the dark blue clear slope. Or transparent, not clear. There's a lot of jumper pieces in this set. So, let's go back to the, um, let's go to the minifigures. I'm back, and these are the minifigures slash mobs. Because, um, there's two minifigures and two mobs, so I just put them in the same grouping because they're still creatures in Minecraft. So, first up is the baby pig. And that, um, is really cute. My, the pig's my favorite animal mob. I just think it's cool. And same mold head. But they put the, um, groove pink bricks, like, against each other to make the pig smaller. And there's a, um, a round black plate to keep it together. The back. Front. I really like the molded heads by the way I think they're really cool so next up is the zombie sorry it's kind of dark 
But, um, zombies just the same. Usually you get zombies in cheap set. Actually, all the cheap set has zombies. The cave and the dungeon has two. The back, there's no back printing. And that's the only bad guy you get, like, bad mob. Alex, this is my first time getting Alex, and it's really cool that she's in the cheap set. She comes with a diamond pickaxe. Which is really cool because the o I think the only other set to get a diamond pickaxe in is the um crafting box and that's fifty dollars. So again, get a lot of good stuff in the um in the um this set, the cheap set. So I like the sand green torso and there is back printing on her, which I think is really unique because they didn't put back printing on Steve. But there's like if you can see, there's dark green in there, olive green, and orange. That's the front again. So let's move on to the mob of the set. The set is mainly for this mob because it is called the Iron Golem. I think this looks exactly like the Iron Golem in the game. But in Lego form. These arms art articulate really good. They could go in all different directions. Because there's a ball joint there. See? Same with this one. And these legs move. So you can make it walk. Kind of like a minifigure. And my favorite thing about this is. There's this new head piece. That I think that's really good for like mechs and stuff. But it looks weird if you put a minifigure head on it. It doesn't really um fit right. But there's a bunch of um of these printed tiles, which I think are cool. There's one here. You could kind of see the um the build of it. You kind of build it on the side, this part, and then um because there's like you build it on the side, then clips come out and. These ball joints come out. So you just put the thing you built on the side for the um chest. But um. It stands up good. You could like bend it. And you can make it walk. Oh you can't see my bad. You can make it walk. By um. Because it moves like a minifigure's legs. Actually they move more smoothly than minifigure legs. Because they're on um, clips and handles. So that's the minifigures. So my opinion on the set is that. It's kind of small but you do get good things in it. Like the crafting tables, the furnace. The diamond pickaxe and the iron golem. Plus Alex because it's nice to get her in a cheap set. Because last wave, the only set you got her in, I think, was the um two expensive ones. The Desert Outpost and the, the Nether Fortress. But, um, I would give this a rating of 4.8, almost a 5. But it's not going to get a 5 because of the smallness of the set. But, thanks for watching. Tell me what you guys think. Bye.